All right, so today's class is uh, Bananas Foster, classic Bananas Foster. Uh, we're going back to the United States for a recipe. It's a classic New Orleans uh, kind of French dish from one of my favorite restaurant families in New Orleans, the Brennans. Um, if you ever go to Brennan's for breakfast or uh, lunch, great place to uh, to have um, some great breakfast items. And then at the end, have Bananas Foster as your dessert. So today, before my wife, executive producer, leaves, she gets to have Bananas Foster start her day. A little, little dessert before her lunch. So that'll be that'll be fun. So today's, um, I'll, before we get into the recipe, I wanted to start off and talk about uh, this month's item for the kitchen. It's a little bit different. Usually I bring a tool. I bring um, some kind of uh, advancement in cooking items. This is something that I think we all should have in our kitchen. Um, it does not smell like anybody thinks it would. But uh, this, uh, this was brought up um, during uh, Save the Earth Week. And because of it, I went out and got a new um, feature for my kitchen. It's a um, recycling bin. So I put my banana peels in today. So I'm showing you as the item for this month. But it sits on my counter. It's got a real nice uh, um, filter in it. Doesn't smell. I, I cut an onion yesterday, I put the peels in there. I put uh, the bananas in it. I'll use it today to put um, tonight's uh, mushrooms that are going in our dinner tonight. All the peels will go in there. And once it fills up, it goes in the compost pile in the back of the house. So, so that being said, let's move on to the recipe, which you all have in front of you. Fairly simple, classic uh, bananas foster. If you don't subscribe to fine cooking, I highly recommend it as a um, great place to find recipes. They really not only give you a recipe, but they really look at the recipe as a, as a science project and really define, is the recipe good? Is the recipe going to be easy to use? Are there some tips? So one of the tips from the test kitchen in here is how do you safely light the rum in this dish. Now I'm not gonna do it for you today, but you can actually light the rum, um, which Brennan's does table side, um, to enhance the experience of uh, rum catching on fire, warms up the bananas and serves over, over ice cream. But this blog here with this, this fine cooking would provide that for you. If you wanna do, um, you're having some friends over, you wanna do something fancy, I'm not going to do it in my kitchen, but uh, you can actually light up the rum uh, because it is alcohol based and that alcohol will light up, uh, but I won't be doing that today. So let's, let's go through the recipe real quick and then I'll take you through the steps. I'll show you on my, uh, my cutting board here and due to the magic of TV timing, I have one behind me that's already finished and making my kitchen smell real good. For those of you that have the app on your phone, um, please uh, go ahead and smell the beauty of butter and cinnamon and brown sugar. It's already enhancing the smell of my kitchen and looking forward to put a little rum in there, to top it off. But uh, this recipe is very simple. Most of the things you would have in your, your kitchen. Now, I don't use a lot of rum in my house. Matter of fact, when I was making sure I had all the ingredients for my recipe today, um, I had to uh, look in my cabinet, make sure that I had some brown amber rum. Now you can use both rums. There's, there's a rum that um, is clear, like a vodka. This one calls for amber. I like it. It's a little bit more enhanced flavor, in my opinion, for this recipe. But I don't use rum a lot. I use rum for this dish, for dessert. And I use rum when I make it pina coladas. Other than that, I don't use a lot of rum. I have other means of alcohol, wine and bourbon that I prefer. But with this, this we're using some Bacardi Gold Amber um, rum for the dish. And you'll find it to be, uh, you just need a little small cup. Um, and it is what makes this recipe taste extra special. 
So going through the recipe, you're going to melt some butter, um, four tablespoons, that's a half a stick of butter. Just melt that up with a, a cup of light brown sugar. Now there's a difference between dark brown sugar and light. It's just got more uh, molasses in that makes that sugar darker than lighter. This one calls for light. You can use dark, it's fine. Um, it'll enhance the recipe just the same. A little bit of half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. My recommendation here, since it's a dessert, and this is one of the key ingredients to the feature, is if you can get your hands on some Vietnamese cinnamon at a, at a spice store, it really is the best cinnamon on the market. Um, now it's a little exotic, but um, it is a better cinnamon than your common ground cinnamon that you might find at uh, Kroger or Costco. Um, I use Saigon. Um, I know we're going to the, the Asian countries here, but that's exactly where cinnamon is grown. Uh, both are very good, uh, but I really like the taste of, of that as an enhancement to this. Is This is um, a real nice additive to the Bananas Foster. What I like about it is it adds a layer of flavor to your dish. Uh, bananas liqueur, um, you've got bananas that are ripe in this dish, but the liqueur enhances the flavor. You just use a small quarter cup and that's all you're doing. You wanna get some firm bananas, not fully firm. In other words, not fully brown, wrappered yellow to brown bananas, but bananas that are firm, not green, but just just about perfect sweetness. The reason you need a firm banana over a soft one is this does get warmed in the, the liqueur and the cinnamon brown sugar sauce. And you brown it a little bit, but you don't want to over brown it because what happens then is it becomes soft mush. Um, so it's, it's an important key to the recipe is not to overdo it when you're warming up the banana. So let's get into the recipe is um, starting off the recipe you want to put in your skillet it's a 12 inch skillet your butter go ahead and melt uh, real real carefully a uh, four ounce or uh, four ounces or a half a stick if you will of butter and that's what you want to start off with and then what you do from there is then you add your brown sugar this is a cup of brown sugar so you put in the brown sugar and then you add your cinnamon as I talked there is the Vietnamese um, cinnamon, which I prefer, but I also have in my kitchen for everyday cinnamon, uh, Saigon cinnamon. So let's go ahead and put some cinnamon in. And all you're doing here is you're putting a small amount of cinnamon to add to the flavor. So a half a teaspoon of cinnamon is all this recipe requires. So there's your cinnamon, your brown sugar, and your butter. And then you're gonna mix those two together. And what you wanna do is go on for about a minute. That butter and um, brown sugar will mix together. And then you put in your liqueur. So here's the liqueur. And you put in a quarter of that. So there's your quarter of the the liqueur smells wonderfully banana. And then I'll show you what happens after you get done with this. So there is the finished bananas in the liqueur. And then I add in some Bacardi Amber rum. I put the rum in and then this dish is nice and warm so that we're all set with, with that dish. Now to do the bananas, it's fairly simple. You're just peeling the banana open and when you do that, you put your banana peel in your compost saver. You just simply slice open a banana. 
after you've peeled it. And as you can see, this banana's got a good peel to it. And there you go. And it goes in the dish. Um, it calls for it going on this side. All you're doing is browning the banana. And then when you're finished, you flip it over. And that's where I'm at in the stage of my demonstration here is I'm showing you that we've got the bananas already. They've toasted. And as you can see here, it's a little bit browned. That was when I put it on its rounded side first. So it, it adds to the um, taste and it adds to the presentation. So after you've done this, if you wanted, you could take your flame and I'm not gonna do that, but you could actually take the flame, hit the rum and it would uh, flamboyant, you know, it'd be really spectacular. It's a blue flame, it's, it's quite, Quite, uh, quite spectacular, but I'm not going to do that today in my kitchen. Um, but after you've uh, heated up the rum, it just warms up real nicely off the fire with a little bit of heat. You're finished with it, and now is the time to put the whole dish together. So let's set this aside. So you want to get some your favorite vanilla ice cream, um, whatever flavor that might be. Some like beans, some like don't. But you put that, put that down. So there's the bananas uh, base, which is the ice cream. And then you serve a couple of the bananas on the side. Like right there, and right there, there's that dish. Then you want to make sure that you wipe your plate clean. This is something restaurants always do. They make sure that the presentation is spectacular. So it's just like that. And then you take this rum sauce and you just pour it over the, the ice cream. And that is banana sauce.